Okay, so that is that. I kind of want to touch base a little bit on the HDR. Um, so let's just say we are going to be doing this car. And we're going to do a studio. Now studio scenes are, um, it, it varies from client to client. And it's a, a, a subjective look. So you really just need to listen to your, uh, your client on what they're lo uh, looking for. But for our purposes, what I'm going to do here is what I usually do straight up is I'm going to go to my library and what I like to do is add a environment type of dome. So I will go to Come on. Hope I didn't lock up. There we go. So what I do here, what, the reason why I do this is um, I wanted some foreign color. I love foreign color. I know a lot of times when you do studios, they take all the foreign color out and it's just about the lighting. And that's fine too, but I usually start off this way because I can always go to a more sterile look. But I will put a dome on here and then go to the HDR editor and I will increase the blur to five. And this, so there we go. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm looking for a lighting that's going to give me shape to my, uh, my sheet metal. And that's all I'm doing here. So this is, um, this is, I want my light source on this side of the vehicle so it's nice and bright here. It fades out. We have a little bit of bright uh, light going over here. And now inside here, inside your editor, I can take some of the color out of it so it's more of a subtle color. And once I'm happy with that, that's when I'll start adding lights to get all that rich uh, reflections back. Um, so one of the, my favorite ones to use is the gradation light. You click on it here. Um, I will go to a rectangle and I'm gonna cut that in half. And I want, what I do is put a, a, light, a nice little horizon line across the, uh, the shoulder of this car. So right now you can see that this gradation is going from left to right. I want it to go from bottom to top. Um, so I'm gonna go down to angle. I'm gonna type in negative 90. And if I turn off my half, you can see now that the, my gradation is going from bottom to top. Um, and now I want where this cuts off at is uh, I want this to be really hot. So I am going to take this and slide it up and I'm going to cut it in half and now you can see that there's more blue in this area. So I keep it in this, these colors because now uh, what I'm going to do now is place the light I want it into this side of the vehicle. If you click on this button here on the HDR editor and then click onto your part, it will place that light on the dome. So as I move <coughs> my cursor around in the car, it's moving my light in the HDR editor. So I'm gonna go back to here and say, yep, that's what I want. And now I'm gonna go in and change the colors. So I'm gonna to go to here, I'm gonna make this white. And then this red, I am just gonna make it a darker color. Because on this editor or on this particular light, you can control the opacity of the light. Um, and then you can control the colors of the light. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this white and I'm going to make the brightness even brighter. So now I have a nice hot light going across here and then it wraps around. Now you can go inside here and play with the size, how long you want it, how far up it goes. If I want to rotate this around, I usually use the azimuth of uh, the light. So now you can rotate this around. And you're just gonna move it to the area you want, which that's the area I wanted. Okay, so now that we have that, I want another light right here because I wanna pull out this highlight of the vehicle. And now again, I'm just going to copy this light, just do a duplicate. I have this selected, and now I'm gonna click in this area of the vehicle. 
and now it moved that light on the dome so it's affecting this area. Now sometimes this light might be too big and it's affecting other things. So that's when you would just go in and you could control the, the width of the light and how high it goes up. But I just want to get a little, little liquid edge right over here. Um, another thing to do with the HDR editor, I want to make this darker on this side. So I'm just going to add a, a, another light. And I'm going to turn this into an alpha. And then I'm going to take all the color out of that alpha. When you do that, it turns into a black light. We'll call it black light, or it just takes out all the, the lighting information in the dome. So now I'm going to move that light into this area. And these are just some nice, uh, nice ways to get that dark and light next to each other, to, to play off each other. Um, key with lighting is you have a light, then you have a dark, and then you have a light, and then you have a dark, and that's what helps uh, make the image pop. Um, so if I turn off this light now, the car looks a little flat and muddy. You add a little bit of darkness in there. Now you're starting to get some shape and depth out of the paint. And again, now that you have that down, you can add another light on top of that. Duplicate that, move that above the black light. And now I can move a light on top of it so I can add a little bit of light to these dark areas if you needed to um, pull out shape in that area. And of course, another key thing when lighting a vehicle is you don't want all your lights to be the same intensity. Um, so I'm going to go over here and we are going to make the whole light darker. Because you want to be able to, um, you still want your eye, th the goal when lighting a vehicle is you want a, the spectator's eye to move around the vehicle. If the car was lit with the same intensity light around the whole vehicle, the vehicle will look flat and the eye won't know what to do. But if you have, this is my hot spot, let's just say this for this particular shot, this is my hot spot. I want this to be the brightest, and then I want this to be bright, but not as bright. So my eye is going around the whole vehicle, and you create depth and shape out of, uh, out of your lighting. And again, this is a lot of playing around with these lights. Use this editor. Um, you can create some amazing lighting with it. That's for uh, studio. And then you can always go back to this background, even though I put this environment here. If I go to gradient, now we're in uh, into a solid, just black and white type environment, and we can uh, we can do a uh, gradation over here. And now you're starting to get to that other type of studio lighting where it's just black and white and grays, and you start adding. So you you can go back and forth with some color, without color, and just play around. 